All right, guys, today we're going to talk about the alternating step back internal hip rotation. So this is another, it's a, it's a long mouthful of a name, but that's just because I want to be really descriptive so that when you read the workout, you know exactly what's expected of you and what's important. So we're going to get into a good athletic stance. Our toes are pointed forward. We're you know, slightly bent at the knees. Our butt is back and we're kind of loading up the, uh, the glutes and the hamstrings a little bit. And in a position where you could kind of do anything, you can move, you can be, you can be athletic. And then we're going to get into an internal hip rotation, and we're just going to step back and forth. And this is something that's going to have a lot of carryover into other things, just walking, running, uh, lunges, squats, any, any movement you do, really, is going to require this, this hip movement, this hip mobility and rotation. And it's also, this is what's going to keep you healthy. This is going to help save your lower back. This is going to save your knees. Um, because your hips are actually moving right, your whole body can move right. So, good athletic stance. Your weight should be on the balls of your feet. Your heels are there for balance. If you can kind of float your heels and get your heels off the ground, that's going to make this even more effective. But it, you don't have to. That's something you can work up to as you get more comfortable. But for now, let's just get into a good athletic stance. Our toes are forward. First thing, we're going to shift our weight so that our chest and head line up directly over our foot and over the middle of our thigh. And as we do that, we're going to step back and twist that back leg. You're not bending your back knee. You're not lunging. We're just internally rotating. And as you do that, you're going to feel that in both hips. This front uh, right hip, my right hip, is going to really be loaded up. And I'm really, really driving in that pressure, in that like torque through the hip. That's really what we're looking for. And then as you come back, get back to that leg stance, shift your weight, and you're going back the other way. So it's a rotation and forward. And we're just going to go back and forth really pushing. Notice my upper body's rotating in line with that back leg. So my toes are pointed that way and so is my chest. My weight's over this foot. I'm never out of balance, under control. And we're just going to go back and forth. Get comfortable with these because it's something we're going to be doing a lot of. And in future programs, you're going to be doing more of this, but it's so good for your hips. And like I said, there's so much carryover into all other movements.